What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys a brand new playthrough on the channel for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. The wait is finally over and I could not be more excited for this game. It is exactly midnight where I'm at. I'm here for the midnight release, ready to grind this game and bring you guys a new playthrough on the channel. You guys already know the deal. If you are excited for today's video and all things Pokemon, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you for all the support that has been going out across the channel. But I'm gonna go to my PC right here. Let's see if they have have anything in here you kidding me they don't have a potion in here bruh don't like all pokemon games have potions in there but yeah i'm super excited for this game i kind of just like skip the intro where i like do my name and all that and pick my character because there's nothing there there's nothing new there so everybody I just get rocking in here bringing you guys the content and all that good stuff but if you guys want to catch more pokemon bdsp content from me make sure you guys follow my streams link is down in the description below and the name is legit on this brand new layout hopefully you guys do like this new layout too i worked really hard on this layout and it's looking really cool i got the particles i got the team preview at the bottom everything about this layout i think is fire i really do but make sure you guys follow my twitch page chances are i'm live right now so if you head over there say what's up say hi to me all that good stuff we're going to be grinding that game over there, doing a full playthrough on that, completing the Pokedex, 100%ing it, as long as doing playthrough on this channel, and doing TM guides and catch guides, all that good stuff over here. But I don't even know what she said. Did she say, like, go see, like, the professor or something? I think she did, but I don't know. I'm just going to go walk up in as far as and see what this guy said, because in every single Pokemon game, there's a guy standing at the trees, pushing it back. Hi, jeans. Barry was looking for you. Okay, so Barry's my next-door neighbor. Got it, got it, got it. But, yo. This is one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. I think Diamond and Pearl Gen 4 Sinnoh region is absolutely amazing. I just think it's phenomenal all around. It has great Pokemon in it. And just the game is just so nostalgic. It's just so nostalgic. But this isn't Barry's house. I'm out of here. We ain't talking to no old ladies. We're trying to get rocking out here in Twin Leaf Town. Trying to pick our starter. Which you guys don't know yet. I already have my whole team planned out. But if you guys do have this game or plan on getting it, let me know in the comment section down below. What starter are you guys picking? And what are you most excited for about this game? Personally, for me, you guys will see my starter in a little bit. I'm so excited for the post game. I think the new adaptation to the post game of making it harder and having so much more like Pokemon accessible after you beat the game just makes this game a lot better. Because post games really do uh, make a game. All the replay value, all that good stuff is just all around amazing. But I just talked to Barry. I don't even know what he said. He said I can go this way. Hopefully. Nah, <laughs> yeah, this guy's over here is like, yo, jeans. Knock it off. All right, I got to start reading it instead of talking to you guys. Barry was looking for you. I think he, yeah. I, I was just legit just talking to Barry. He's probably just like, yo, jeans, come inside. That's what we're going to do, do. We're going to go head in there. I'll start paying attention a little bit more to the game, but I just want to talk to you guys about this game and how excited I am for it. But yeah, this was legit like my childhood. Like this came out in like, what was it? 2005, 2006. So I was like six or seven at that time, which is really young considering I'm going to be like 23 now, which is just absurd. That is absurd. I was actually like seven or eight. But still, that is just crazy how long it's been since I played this game. I mean, I played it, like, in the past or, or, like, after that. But I just remember grinding hours as a kid and just ripping into it. Will this guy say something to me again or do I have to go next door? So let's just go next door and see what's happening here. Let's just see what's happening here. But, yeah, I remember a lot of this game, like, the back of my hand. Like, dude, I just put so many hours in it as a kid. Like, I think on my DS I had, like, three to 500 hours. Something along those range. Which I, I just, I just love this game. This game was just such a grind. One of my favorite gens, but hey, you saw the news report on TV, right? Baby, 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 the red garish. Yeah, yeah, that's in the beginning of the game. Something I didn't show you guys. Sorry about that. Yo, let's get to our starter, Barry. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? What are we doing here, man? Let's just go. Let's just go get a starter here. Remember what your mother said? Oh, yeah, don't go into tall grass. But yeah, I want to go into the tall grass. It's like we'll head the other way, bro. I cannot wait to build my team for this game. I cannot wait to build my team. That's the only. I think the only downfall to this game is the lack of variety people use in this. People definitely use like a big old lack of variety with it because a lot of people will use the same Pokemon such as like Infernape and then they'll use Luxray, they'll use Star Raptor, Lucario, all that. Granted, we are going to be using a few generic Pokemon on our team, but not as many, not as many. I have a pretty cool team lineup for you guys, so I cannot wait to showcase it for you guys and all that good stuff. But more importantly, I cannot wait to show off this layout when it is fully done because I got animated sprites, all the good stuff coming to you guys. But Professor Rohn's over here with Dawn. Dawn is such a cool character. I think Dawn and Lucas are really cool characters all around. I can't wait to get my hat. Like, where's my hat at? How come Dawn has a hat already? But the graphics first impression on this game, it's looking really good. This game is looking phenomenal. I really do like it. My man Barry over there, and yo, he left his bag, yo. Oh my god, yo, cannot wait to pick my Sinnoh starter. Let's get rocking out here. Granted, in my first playthrough, we did take Infernape when I, uh, not in, when I played when I was really young. But in this one, we're not going to be taking Infernape. I just think that's too generic, man. I just think, like, okay, like, there's not a lot of fire types. Obviously, Infernape is a great call. But I, I just don't like him as much as I like the other two. 
I just don't like him as much as I like the other two. He's, granted, he's amazing. I really do like his design. I just think this, the, these three starters are like the best set out of all of them. So let's check him out. We got Turtwig. Oh my God, yo, he looks awesome. We got Chimchar right here. We ain't taking Chimchar. We got Piplup. And guess who we're taking? We taking Turtwig over here. Let's rock out with the Tiny Leaf Pokemon Turtwig. I absolutely love him. It was a really tough decision for me to go between Turtwig or Piplup. Piplup. But I feel like both of them are just great calls. I love Empoleon. I love Torterra. Just everything about this game is just mm, making me feel good, man. It's making me feel good. Let's get out our turret. He's looking spiffy. A little turtle rocking back and forth. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. We got Tackle and Withdrawal. Let's send it in our first battle. Let's just get rolling this game. So what I plan on doing in this episode is just trying to get probably as far as I can. I'm trying to record for probably about 30 minutes. Bring you guys a nice little part one. Just get grinding from there. That's what this episode is all about. Just introduction, pick and starter, maybe capture another Pokemon for our team. But I don't think we'll get that far. Because my first Pokemon is a little bit out of the distance. We're not taking Star. We're not taking Starly on the team. Not being that guy. Not being that guy. Granted, Star Raptor is one of the coolest flying Pokemon out there. Definitely probably top tier Route 1 bird. But I just don't want to take him. Like I said, I do not want to do like a generic team. Do not want to do a generic team. I was gonna put Haunch Girl on my team, but I'm doing that on my stream. That's a little sneak peek to my stream playthrough. Having Haunch Girl over there, I think Haunch Girl is suck as, such a sick flying Pokemon. Dark and flying, and he looks like he has a cool hat after that. Mwah, yo, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. But we finally get our first Pokemon. We get Turtwig. Let's get rocking in the action. Let's just get rolling here. But I really do like the, uh, the graphic style here. I think they, they nailed it. I think they nailed it really good. Everything I've seen on this game has been awesome. Oh, yeah, we got Barry following me over here. Can I see my Pokemon here? Oh, I can. I can indeed go into my bag. Yo, look at my boy, Turtwig. And I actually want to see, like, his nature and everything. Considering, you know, I'm big into that VGC stuff nowadays. So, <laughs> I like to check it out. Oh, yo, come on. How do I... Oh, I'm in items. I hit items. Look at this. Uh, what's his nature? Does it say here? Serious nature. And I can't even, like... Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Serious nature over here. And we're going to head over here and see Rowan and... Dawn. Hey, it says people is that old guy staring at us. Yeah, yo, old guy, get out of here. I don't think Barry knows you. That's the professor. You don't want to be messing with him. You don't want to be messing with him. There's Dawn. Did Dawn take a starter? I think Dawn, doesn't Dawn take a starter in this? Right? He, she heads to the lab. I think Barry took another one. And then we all just start fighting, like, in the middle of everything, trying to compete for champion. But yeah, like I said, I'm super, super excited for post game with this because post game is just. It's just gonna be something totally different. Like you can revisit all the gyms. They're gonna be higher level. They're gonna be EV trained. They're gonna have items, all that good stuff. And same thing with the uh, Elite Four. I saw like the final picture, like they're up to like level 80 on a rerun of it. That is awesome. That is awesome. I love a little bit of difficulty, especially in the post game. Main game, you should be able to run through. Anybody should be able to do it. But post game, you should really have to have some skill and train up your Pokemon to a great level using items and EV training to be able to beat it. So I really do like that they did that. And I am really excited for the, uh, what is it? The Nate, not the nature then. The cave, whatever the cave's called. I think the cave's sick and how they did the Pokemon with that. I really do think it's cool. But, so just be able to head out of here. We got our moving running shoes right here. We are jamming. Let's roll. Let's roll out to route, route one here, or 201, I should say. And we're in our first battle. Who is it? Starly or Padoof? It's Starly, yo. Starly's over here. Yo, I wanted Starly on my team so bad, but it's just like, it's just like, come on, yo. Not everybody, not everybody shouldn't be using Starly. You know, it's sick, even though it is sick. I'm trying to remember my first team I used. It was so generic. It was so generic. Like I said, I was like seven or eight. I used Infernape, Star Raptor, um, Luxray was definitely on the team. I used Garchomp because Garchomp's just sick. Everybody loves it. They're themselves some Garchomp. Um, and then two other ones. What was it? Was it Floatzel? I think it was Floatzel and Lucario. Like it was so generic. No, it was Roserade and Lucario. I don't think I had Floatzel on my team. I don't think I had a Water type, or did I? I might have had a Water type. I'm not too sure. I'm really not too sure, but I'm gonna head over here, see if we can find any like secrets, maybe some Pokeballs laying around here. Nothing really, you're not gonna, no Pokeballs over here? What you mean? What you mean, dog? You would think, you would think there'd be some Pokeballs, but let's just keep uh, going down this route here. Keep rocking around here and seeing what we can do. No Pokemon battles here. I think you're just supposed to run through the grass, all that good stuff. Just get, get, your, get your legs in the water for the Pokemon, but yo, this game feels smooth. It's feeling really smooth. I kinda wanna battle a little bit. Come over here, see if I can go over here. I can find another Pokemon. There we go. Let's see what else we get. Can we get a Bidoof in a Pokedex? There it is. Bidoof chilling in a Pokedex. And I wish we did have Pokeballs at this time because throughout this playthrough, what I want to do is capture as many Pokemon as I can. And maybe, just maybe, if you guys really want to, you guys should definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Should I do a complete Pokedex 
run on the playthrough. So like after I beat the game and all that, would you guys like to see me play fully and catch every single Pokemon? Because like I said, I'm doing TM guys on here on this channel. And I'm also going to be doing catch guides where to catch every single Pokemon, legendary guides, all that good stuff. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you guys have notifications turned on as well. But we're rocking out with my boy Turbo. Rocking out with my boy Turbo. Take out Badoof, and we got Badoof in the Pokedex now. And I believe that's only uh, Route 1 or 201 Pokemon there. And we got our first level up. Tur Tur we can learn Leafage. Okay. A little bit of Leafage action. But something cool about this, uh, this game is how they update the moves and all that good stuff. Fairy is now a typing. Granted, when... Gen 4 or was originally released. There was no fairy typing. So now you got Pokemon like Togekiss with fairy in their typing. It was such a cool Pokemon. You got Mr. Mime who's fairy now as well. And the Garchomp isn't as strong as it used to be now because Garchomp was so strong because it barely had any weaknesses. If you didn't have an ice type, that thing was running through you. It was running through you. And it is ground typing as well. So it was just ripping on ice types as well. But now the fairies are part, I think Garchomp will be a little bit easier if you are running fairy on your uh, team. But yo, dude, the art style is sick. I think they did really good with this. The music's good. Everything about this is just, just feeling good all around. It really is. But, okay, would I like to give it a nickname? Nah, yo, I'm not I'm not with the nicknames. A lot of people, like, probably when I'm streaming, I'll give some nicknames out. But when I just like to play through the game, I like to give the Pokemon their original name. I just feel like they deserve it. I don't know why. I just feel like the Pokemon deserve their names to be their names. You know what I'm saying? But here's Dawn over here. And I think she gets a Pokemon, doesn't she? I remember, like I said, I haven't played this game in forever. I haven't played it in forever. Here's Rowan. Rowan, you're going to give me my Pokédex, man? That's what I want. We use it to record all the data. Yes, I will get you every single Pokémon in that Pokédex. And that's a promise. That is a promise right there. The Pokédex is a very high-tech device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let's see what you got. I got one too. Blah, blah, blah. We walked up to Route 201 with your Pokémon. What did you feel? Blah, 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 something like that. He's just going to keep talking, but you guys know, we're just going to mash A like back in the day and uh, just try to get on with the game. But, oh, yeah, she does get Piplup. And good thing I didn't take Piplup because it isn't like in the TV shows. Doesn't Dawn have Piplup? Right? I think that's a thing. In the TV shows, Dawn just has Piplup. That's her main thing. So good thing we didn't take Piplup from her. She deserves Piplup. Okay, Jeans, I'll act as your mentor. I've got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as a professor. No, you don't. Does, does she know who I am? She know I'm Jeans, god of Pokemon over here. <laughs> but yeah, she's acting like we don't know what the nursing center is. Blah, blah, blah. But I guess for new players, it's good. Here's a lovely little Pokemart. Everything looking spiffy. I do need to buy Pokemon. Gotta remember. And always in a playthrough, you guys always want to buy some potions, paralyzed heals, all that good stuff right off the bat. I didn't I didn't start doing that till I was older. Like, I remember I would just run through the game, like, not even touch the Pokemon and all that good stuff. But now that I'm older, like, I always buy, like, antidotes, potions, and everything. Just be prepared for when I'm out on the routes. But, is my Pokemon healed? We can check it out real quick. He is not healed. So, we'll go heal him up. Let's check out the brand new Pokedex, first of all. No, it's looking cool. It's looking cool. We only have three Pokemon in here. But, I do like it. It's like an updated version. It just feels so much cleaner, but it just reminds you of the old game. It just reminds you of the old game. Even the uh, the movement's really smooth here. And, like I said, I'm really liking the art style and all around. Everything about it. But let's see if they display the Pokemon on the screen. Like the good old days. Yes, sir. And that... Oh that music i haven't did like a playthrough on a pokemon game since sword and shield so it just feels good to like play pokemon how it's like normally played instead of just constantly playing vgc but i don't think we have any cash yet so there's really no point of being competing in there let's head over here is dawn just still in here she is oh does she want to battle does she want to battle you when are we gonna battle her man you tell your family you're helping the professor you didn't did you i know oh my god are you gonna make me go back down there really really out my face get her out of here man we don't want to deal with her we don't want to deal with her all right we gotta head back there anyway let's go here maybe we'll get in a battle here as well in the grass let's see nope so far nothing but i always like to overtrain my pokemon i do always like to overtrain my pokemon just like run around the grass and stuff make sure i'm like up to date on the po uh the pokedex and all that catching every single pokemon all that good stuff always a fan of that always a fan of that but let's go tell mom that we gotta leave even though we are one of the best Pokemon trainers. We do not need no help. <laughs> we do not need no help whatsoever. But there we go. Oh, she heals on my Pokemon. I didn't even have to like go out. She gave me a guidebook. Oh, I don't think the guidebook was like a thing back then. Okay, so that's a guidebook. I guess it will guide us on our adventure, letting us know where to go. Lame. Lame. Let's just throw that in the trash. We don't need no guidebook. We're just going to go run around and do what we want. But mom, you know what I need? I need some money. I need some money, baby. <laughs> throw me some beans. Throw me some beans. Oh, there's Barry's mom. Yep, Barry's left. He left, man. He went on to go try to be a Pokemon trainer, but it's not going to happen because we're better. 
We gonna smack up on them. But yeah. There you go. Give me a parcel. We'll take one of them. Look at that. Look, look at Barry's mom giving us cool items. I like my mom. My mom's over here giving, giving me a guidebook. A book. Book. What's a book, man? Get out of my face. What you want? Oh, jeans. You're forgetting something. Please be money. Please be money. Oh, it's my hat. Okay, Ma. All right. All right. I respect it, yo. Look at Smithy, yo. I was waiting for my hat, man. I was wondering when I was going to get it. But well, there it is. Now we're rocking out with the hat. But we have no money, man. We got to go find some money. So I can buy stuff and things. But yo, the walking animation looks cool. Look, his little feet pop up, all that good stuff. But yo, the grass spawn rates seem really low. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Because I don't mind battle. I'm just trying to level up, man. I'm just trying to level up. But good thing these Starlies don't know any, uh... Don't know any flying moves yet. Because that could definitely be whack for us. That would not be good. But we got leafage. Which is... Oh, is that a new move? These are pelts. Targets with leaves. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Usually you just learn, like, absorb with him at, like, level 8. Was it? I was thinking it's level 2. We're going to be able to tap it. Sorry, he's going to use a tap on me. Look at that. One damage. At my face. At my face. But the normal games of these are just super easy. Like, you can just play through it with just your starters and really just rip through it. Like, I can honestly capture no other Pokemon for my team and beat the whole game. But probably not the post game. The post game is definitely hard. Hey, yo! What, what, what you mean? We took one step! <laughs> I was just complaining about the spawn rates in the games. Like, yo, you want to complain about spawn rates? We'll give you some spawn rates. Spawn these things like crazy. But we get to see our brand new move, Leaf. And I don't think this was in any other Pokemon game, was it? I never used it before. That looks pretty... That looks tough. Looks like Rallet's move. It's like a move Rallet used to use. Let's see. Look at that. Bop. Get him out of here. Badoof. Out my face. A lot of people were telling me, yo, Jeans, you should definitely use Badoof for a playthrough. I was like, get out my face. <laughs> we are not using Badoof for a playthrough. And the good thing about this is we do not need, like, HM Pokemons anymore. Yo, another spawn. Yo, dude, the game's just on me now. Game's, game's really like, yo, you want to complain about spawn rates? Here you go. Here's three. Now, this is a little excessive. This is excessive now. But, like I was saying, HMs are not a thing anymore. You have an HM, like, in your Poke Catch or Poke Tech, whatever you call that thing. I think it's Poke Catch. Something along the same. But you have an HM thing built into there. So you don't have to teach your Pokemon HM moves anymore. Which I personally really like. I really do like because that kind of takes away from the generic build where, like, you have to have a water type for Surf. You have to have a flying type for Fly. You have to have somebody to use Rock Smash, somebody to use Strength. And you're not just using the HM slave half the time. So I do really like that. It just, uh, it benefits more for uh, team building. So now I can actually build a team that I want and use moves that I want. Granted, I might still use some moves such as like Surf, because Surf is just an all-around great move, and Waterfall is pretty strong, and same thing with Fly, but Fly is two-turn, so I think I'd rather use a different uh, a different thing from there. But we're in Sand Gem Town. Is there anything down here? Should I look around and stuff? Ooh, ooh what's down here? Ooh, about 219, and this is just water down here. Okay, pretty cool. I remember this all day, and we got our first Pokeball. An Antidote. Lovely. Lovely, 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 and we're just going to rock out, and we're just going to go straight towards Dawn and try to make our way up that route. I think that's our best bet. I think that's our best bet for part one. Just try to get, like, maybe towards gym. The gym number one. So that could be a nice little part, too. We can just make our way up there. Get some levels. Level up our turret wig, All that good stuff. And then, uh, what's it called? Do the gym one in tomorrow's. Well, not tomorrow's episode. In our next part. Because I'm legit. It's 12 o'clock here. A midnight release in this game. And I'm just going to be grinding out some videos for you guys. But what does she teach me how to battle? After we already battle? Or does she teach me how to capture poke? Let's see. Is there a skip button? I love it. But yo, look at little Pips. Look at little Pips, dude. I love his design. I really wanted to pick him. I was trying to uh, build a team around him. Definitely going to be using him on my stream team. But I definitely want to build a team around him. But just as my Torterra team looks so much cooler. It really did. So she's going to use Pound. And I guess she's teaching me how to capture Pokemon. Yes, she's doing it. Don't heal. <laughs> I was going to say. Yo, she has 25 Pokeballs. And 100 grand. Yo, do I have money? I got to go check the Pokemon, man. I gotta go see if if I had some money in my parcel. He's rocking 10 grand and I'm broke? Don't tell me that. Yeah, I gotta have some cash. Badoof was caught. Looking all cool. But I heard the underground, which I'm really excited for, is really good for shiny hunting. And you can catch so many different Pokemon. Like you can catch the starters that you did not get post-game. Which I think is a really cool touch. A lot of times you have to trade for them, all that good stuff. Have like a friend make an egg or something. Well, in my case, my fans. Love you guys. But uh... Yeah, now you can just go into the, the underground dens and find them in post game, which is, I think is really, really cool. But she did give me Pokeballs. Okay, so I'm not going to go back to Mart. I'm just going to head up here, maybe catch a Pokemon on this route, try to get them in my Pokedex, all that good stuff. Let's get rolling here. 
and see if we can catch some Pokemon. The Starly is going to be our first. We catch in Starly here. It's not going to be part of my team. Just want to put it in my Pokedex. Do you get XP for it? Well, I hope you do. In the newer games, you get XP for catching Pokemon. We're going to try to do it. We're going to try to do it. Here's a little tackle. Oh, yo, this thing outspeeds me? What you mean? This thing outspeeds me? It's level three. Should I try to catch it or should I hit it again? Let's hit up on it again. It's going to growl me. Drop my attack. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. But I remember playing uh, just like Pokemon games in general when I was really, really young and I would never use like stat changing moves. I would never use stat changing moves. And now, because I didn't think they would like really did anything. I was like, they're not hitting the Pokemon. It's not doing anything. But now, yo, I love them. They're just so, they're so good. They're so good all around. Much wiser Pokemon player nowadays. But Starly, there we go. Caught it right away. And that was pretty cool. I just tapped X and it automatically went to it. So it was just like a quick catch. I didn't have to like press anything. It didn't have to confirm it. I really do like it. And Starly to our Pokedex. Get the footprint. Get all that stuff. Give Starly a nickname. No, Starly gets added to my party? We don't want her here. We do not want Starly here. This is a battle. Oh, we battling. We on the route of battling. I'm with it all day. We're going to rip up on these fools. We are going to rip up on these fools. But after I battle this kid, I want to drop back. Try to find a Bidoof. Catch it for my Pokedex. Then just go throw everybody in the, in the box. And I think you can throw Pokemon in your box from just anywhere. Just from the routes, I think. I think you can just like hit the pause menu and toss them in a box. But this Starly is actually pretty high level. I don't like that one bit. Please don't tell me this against tackle. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Do I have any potions? I'm gonna die, dude. I'm gonna die. Use quick attack, yo. Eat up. No way. No way I die, yo. Use growl or something. Okay. Okay, yo, hold the phone. Yo, I swear, yo, if I die. Rally's gonna lower my attack, but I think one more can finish this thing off. Tackle's gonna fly through here. Yo, let me outspeed, please. He growls me again. I think he's just gonna growl me down. I don't think the game will allow me to die. I don't know, dude. Can tackle kill? Please tell me tackle kills. Kill him. Oh my lord. Yo, if I would have died route like two, I would have had to delete my channel. That would have been so rough. That would have been super rough. <laughs> that dude, that's Starly giving me a whooping. Giving me a mean whooping. But let's head back down. We definitely need some HP. Is this a Bidoof? Show me it's a Bidoof. If not, we're going to run. All right, we run in this one. I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with these Starlies. These dudes are deadly. Now, imagine if that thing had Peck. Imagine if that thing had Peck or something. We would just got ripped. Let's run here. Yo, let me run. Yo, let me out of here. Yo, yo, dude, this round's deadly. Yo, what you mean? Yo, give me a Bidoof. All right, there's a Bidoof. Do I go for the catch on the Bidoof? Or do I run? If I play it safe, do I run? Or do I just go straight for a catch? We're running. We should be able to run. It's level two. Yeah. Okay, we'll play it safe. We'll play it safe here because, yo, I, I told you, I cannot die here. I cannot die here. No Pokemon, no Pokemon, no Pokemon. All right, cool. <laughs> we back in town. We back in town here. Let's go heal up. And I want to see if I have money. Because a potion would have definitely been beneficial there. Especially in that battle. So, those are the reasons we need potions. Those are definitely the reasons we need potions. We all sitting in that battle. I was like, oh, dude, this totally is going to kill me. <laughs> and I want to see if we can actually uh, put Pokemon away from our party from here. Can I go to Pokemon? Pokemon Starly? Can I, like, mm, swap Pokemon? No, I guess not. I guess not. So, Starly, you can go to the box. You can go to the box. We will boot up the PC. And someone's PC. And Fox's SS. And Starly, get out of here. Because you are not on our team. We will not display any of these Pokemon that are not on my team in my team section down below on my layout. But yeah, was this layout fire? It took me a while. I was working on it for a good bit. So hopefully it did turn out well. We got the little snow particles, the little white dots floating around. We got uh my uh, little Twitch stuff over there. Got my face cam rocking out good. We have the badges right below me. And yo, okay, we do have some cash. That's cool. No, I don't just want one. I want multiple. I want multiple. It's by 11. But I have the badges right below my face cam. I got the team preview, though. I cannot wait to get Pokemon. Well, you guys probably see my Turtwig moving around there now. But when I have the full team, they're all animated. All animated sprites that are looking real spiffy moving around. Add in some style to the layout. So it's not just like the bland layouts that everyone else uses. Just know your boy Jean's got your back. With some cool content. Always some cool content. 
and always always some funny content too hopefully hopefully i made you laugh with strongly almost killing us but oh yo shink spawns here shink spawns here we're not gonna have him on our team though he is a very cool pokemon love luxray i think he's very cool we are gonna capture him right here we are indeed gonna capture him tackle him up a little bit and i'll just bring him over to the town because i definitely want to finish up this route definitely want to finish up this route in this episode that's what we're gonna do we're gonna grind it out we're gonna defeat all the trainers all that good stuff and capture every single pokemon that we can probably capture so shink is gonna outscream he's gonna tackle up he ain't doing no damage. he ain't doing no damage shinks put him in the trash put him in the trash let's capture him here starly op sir starlies we don't mess with starlies <laughs> that's gonna be like a running joke on my channel the starlies are in like every single route and eventually when you get to like a higher level there's star rabias i don't think star raptors spawn but i know star rabias do spawn but they're gonna be a detriment to us up until we get uh i don't even want to say what pokemon up until i don't even want to say what pokemon but there we go get all this stuff shinx is over here into our thing he's such a cool pokemon such a dope pokemon we're gonna throw him in a party just let him chill there let him hang out there i don't think we have an xp share yet but let's keep moving on here let's try to find some pokeballs get some other trainers up here there we go hopefully this person does not have a starly but i have to guess it's gonna have a shinx i don't know why i just have a feeling it's gonna have a shinx because that's a new pokemon on the route when it has two it has two pokemon our turret is gonna be grinding one's a badoof that doesn't count so it basically has one pokemon nothing's worse than like battling a trainer that has like two of the same pokemon you're like come on man what you doing what you doing but oh we should have used leafage it's stab you know stab now we do work what did more damage leafage should be able to kill here tackle's gonna do buns damage he gets a crit yo badoof chill on me man chill on me let's use leafage and get rocking here leafage out and about out out my face get him out of here get him out of here but hopefully you guys do enjoy these playthroughs and all the pokemon brilliant diamond and shine and pearl content because it is definitely a change of pace for me from doing pokemon sword and shield considering i love sword and shield i love doing content with that absolutely love it but i also love playing new pokemon games and relaxing and doing playthroughs for you guys so hopefully you guys do enjoy the content and enjoy me commentating it and all that good stuff but weren't we just talking about uh trainers that use two of the same pokemon get them out of here <laughs> that's what you get we get a crit now dump on that badoof get out my face get out my face dump on that thing turtwigs and get some xp and xp shares just built in so everybody gets xp here okay i know there's no way of turning it off but usually you like you get to play a little bit and then you get the xp share. so they're just making the game easier let's rip up on this uh trainer and get rocking out from here let's have a pokemon battle humph but i'm gonna win Psh, psh, psh. you know who i am you know who i am He's gonna roll out here with the shanks and there's the trainer with the shanks i was waiting for it i was waiting for it but yeah i do not think we are going to capture our uh second pokemon for our team oh this is rocking intimidate i'm a physical attacker actually leafage might be special can i see can i hit like info i can and it is physical it is physical we're gonna rip up on him leafage gonna fly out here oh tipping away and it doesn't do half because we're minus one man because we're minus one but yeah, I do not think we will get our uh, second Pokemon for our squad in today's video. Maybe in the next one. I'm trying to think. It is like an earlier route Pokemon. So I think it will be in the next one. I really do. And a few of our Pokemon, well, two of our Pokemon we get from the underground. Which I cannot wait. And I heard you get the underground right before the second gym. You can do it before you even beat the second gym. I think it's in the second gym town. So whenever we get there, we'll capture that Pokemon. And we'll get Rocket out from there. But there we go. Shink's gone. We should get a nice little xp chunk from that 38 loving it shinx don't learn to move because we ain't gonna use you we ain't using you dog we defeated youngster logan logan go home logan's actually a name of one of my buddies so find that a little funny find that funny let's roll here dude spawn rates are up man show me a shiny how sick would that be how sick would that be we're just walking around route one to get ourselves a shiny i might eventually do like shiny hunting on my uh, twitch page I think that could be cool, especially post game after I catch everything. That'll definitely be a decision in uh in later time. In later time. Starly's gonna growl on me. We're just gonna tackle it up again. Hit him with my turtwig, baby. Loving me some turtwig. Loving me some turtwig. Send it with tackle. Get rocking out from there. Bop. Out my face. Gone. Gone. Did I get the level up? Nope. Super close though. Super, super close. We still have to catch a Bidoof. So we definitely want to do that before we actually end our video. What we got over here? Is this another trainer? Can I talk to you? Some Pokemon only appear in the morning, some at night. Yes, I do like that about this game. There are a few Pokemon that only spawn on certain days, like Drifflin or Drifflin. The first stage of Drifflin, he only spawns on Fridays in like a certain location, which I think is pretty cool. But we're almost at the first town. Let's try to find a Bidoof. 
should be producing here. Oh, there's Cricket Tots, man. I totally forgot about this terrible Route 1 Pokemon. But I want to catch him. <laughs> but I want to catch him. This thing is awful. If you use a Cricket Tot on your team, get out of here. I think we should be able to catch it without even hitting it. I think if we hit it, we might just dump on it one shot. But yo, if your person uses Cricket Tot on your team, or Cricket Tune, the final evolution, you're either crazy or you're super off meta. That is just nuts. I, I don't think I ever met somebody who uses a Cricket Tune on their team. He is pretty cool looking, not gonna lie, because doesn't he have like a like a violin or something? Like he looks like a guitar with like the strings. But I think Cricket Tune has like a violin or something like that. And then we do not want to give him a nickname. Now my face. He's gonna be in a party for a little bit. He's gonna hang out here. We catch a nice little cricket tile. Let's see if we can find a Badoof. Show me a Badoof. If not, we'll just level up Turtwig here. Starly, get out of my face, Starly. We don't want to die to you. We do not want to die to you. Don't our Turtwig. I do want to get another level. Badoof should spawn here. Hopefully we can just start one tapping these, these route one Pokemon. Nope, not yet. He's gonna growl on me. He's gonna growl on me. But yeah, I'm trying to think. Any other route one or like early game Pokemon in these routes? I think it's just these and Cricket Tot, right? The three that we call and Badoof. I think there's only a four. I think there is only four. Thank God I found a Cricket Tot there. Cause I wouldn't have sat around and like thought like, oh, I should catch Cricket Tot. But not every route we're just going to be sitting there catching Pokemon. We're pretty much going to be moving through this game. But if I know there's some Pokemon that I want to catch, we are going to rock out and try to find them. Let's see if we can find one here. Come on, Badoof me. Badoof me. Shinx again. Come on, man. If not, we'll find a Badoof in another match. I'll go one more turn. I'll go one more try with this one. We shall do one more. Run this one. Get away safely. Come on, Badoof. I got this one. I got this one. Focus in. Just got to think of Badoof. Send antennas. Badoof. Right here. Look at that. Look at that. Yo, it's so easy. It's so easy when it's like that. It's so easy when it's like that. <laughs> you just got to think hard enough. Send antennas. That's my thing. You just, you just pull out your antenna. This thing's level two. We'll catch it. Throw a Pokeball right off the way. Yo, I'm really liking that, how you just have to hit X. You don't have to confirm it or anything. It just makes things so much simpler. Just simplistic. We love simplistic over here on the Jeans YouTube channel. We love it over here. So we catch Badoo finally. We got to throw him in my box because there ain't no chance that we using this ugly Pokemon. We ain't using them. We don't need HM slaves, so this Pokemon is useless. I know a lot of people are actually using Badoof on their team for Pokemon Diamond Pro, just for like, just for some giggles, man. Which, I give them props, I do give them props. But we finally make our way to Juba Life City. And I'm not gonna lie, the music here is an absolute jam. Absolute jam. Dawn just ruined it, but after we get done talking to her, we're gonna be jamming out. We're definitely gonna be jamming out. She says she's going to Barry School, and here comes the music. Ready for this? Just listen. Open up your ears. Oh my lord. Loving it. Loving it so much. Let's hit it up this uh this Poke Center. Heal up. Throw our Pokemon in the box because you know we don't want them. We don't want them. Jubilee music is jamming though. It is jamming though. Boot up our PC. And someone's PC. Cool. We have access to PC. Shanks out my face. Let's move you. Can you grab multiple Pokemon? I wonder. I wonder. Probably can somehow. I just don't feel like learning it. But Cricket out your last. Get out my face. We have a level 9 Turtwig, which we are rolling out with. Is this the first gym? We might have to train up a little bit. We might have to train up a little bit. I'm not sure. I know we will get a ton of XP when we are battling in the gym. And this should be the gym, right? Let's see. Oh, this is trainer school. And I think we got to go here. I think we do have to go here to trainer school. And Barry should be chilling here. And actually, did I heal my Pokemon? I did not. I'm just going to give him a potion. I'm just going to give him a potion. We do really don't need our moves and all that good stuff. So, let's head over here. Use our first potion. Everything's feeling smooth, though. Loving it. Turtwig getting all that. And I believe in this training school, we will battle a few people over here. Which is good, so we should get XP and all that good stuff. So, let's see what Barry has to say. He probably says blah, blah, blah. Oh, and that's why we got the parcel. We have to give it to Barry. <laughs> finally found Barry here. Take your parcel. And he gives me a town map. So, we finally get the map of the Sinnoh region. The Sinnoh region. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But I believe we can walk around to these people to the right, and they will battle us, right? Is that a thing? I think so. Yes, you guys can battle. Okay, let's do it. So let's do these battles. We have been recording for about 30 minutes now, so I do want to end the episode very, very soon, but I just want to like make our way, be ready for the gym battle. Definitely want to be ready for the gym battle. It's awesome. He's going to send an Abra. And I was, I was tempted to put Alakazam on my team, but the problem was you have to trade the Abra. Uh, to evolve him, and I, and I wasn't really with that. I was not really with that. He's gonna outspeed. He's gonna go for a charge beam here, which is totally fine. That's easy eats for my boy Turtwig. Might paralyze him though. 
Please don't paralyze him. He also gets a speed boost, right? Special attack boost. I thought it was speed. That's looking scary, but he has not very effective moves. And Ethan, she's doing damage. And I definitely gotta get like quick attack on Turtle. Like, it seems like a lot of Pokemon are just outspeeding him. So having like a first turn priority move on him in like situations like this where where they're gonna get the first hit on me would be very beneficial. But Leaf is gonna fly out here, picking up the KO, get this thing out of my face. Get him out of here. So he's going with. Back out onto the next one. 54 XP, loving it. Yeah, so we can battle both these guys. And I really do like battling these guys because it's really good early game XP. Really good early game XP. So let's talk to this one. I think yeah, we should be able to battle. battle. Yeah. 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 Let's rip up this guy. We just ripped up your friend over there. Now you want the smoke? This one's on the house. I got my water. Gotta say hi, Jimmy. You guys, no deal. Yo, what is this? What you mean? What you mean? You also have an Abra? So they decided to become Pokemon trainers. And they were just like, yo, out of all these Pokemon in the Sinnoh region, out of all, like, over, there's like over 100 in the Sinnoh region, but then the National Dex is like close to 500. They both picked an Abra. Get out of my face. We don't deal with that. We bring that thing down to the red, and then we just gotta finish this thing. And they're both just using the same moves. Who trained these guys? This is why they're in trainer school. We don't need trainer school. That's why these people are here. We just skip school. Like, we didn't go to college for Pokemon. Even though I wish I did. I wish I took up, like, Pokemon in college. I wish that was a major. I wish that was a major, because, yo, I would have a master's in that category. <laughs> but there we go. Take him out. We're almost level 10, which is really, really well. We're doing great here. And usually, what I like to do in playthroughs in any Pokemon game is usually, like, after the first gym, I like to be evolved. Or before. Before is when I really grind. But I think during or after you defeat the first gym, you should have an evolved first stage. But I think what's called actually evolves really early, too. Turtwig. He might be a level 14 one. He might be a level 14 one. You are a Pokemon trainer. I am indeed. But you don't have the Poke Catch yet. Oh, this is the thing. This is the thing. So this, when you used to play this game, you used to play it on the DS, obviously, because it was a DS game. It used to be on the bottom of your screen, but now you can actually toggle it in this game to put it in the top right corner. Oh, wait, what do you say? Three clowns will ask you a simple question. The questions will have to do with all the Pokemon. Uh, where are the clowns at? Where are the clowns at? Are the clowns just like... I thought I saw a clown. Where are they at? Oh, there's this chick over here. She's probably like, hey, you can't go there yet. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's a G oh yo, that's a global trading system, isn't it? I used to use that all the time as a kid. Now, where are these clowns at, man? <laughs> where are these clowns at? You said the others too. Oh, there's a clown. Come here. Come here, clown. I get a... Can I... Can a Pokemon hold an item? Yeah. Oh, you gotta answer questions for him. Give me this. Give me your coupon, man. There you go. There's a coupon. So, we gotta get all three. I guess we just gotta walk around the town and do that. But I believe the gym's somewhere over here, right? There's another clown. What's the gym at, man? I'd love to know it. I love to make my way towards the gym. Oh, oh, I was just mashing A and I got the question right. We take those all day. <laughs> I didn't even read. I was just mashing A. Now we got to find a third clown. Hey, yo, clown, where you at, dog? Where you at? Should be over on this side. Considering we did not check this side yet. So I'm guessing it's over towards the right. Clown, Mr. Clown. Mr. Clown, where you at? See right here? He is indeed. He is indeed. I'm Poker Guys Cat. Uh, let's roll out my question. Let's see it. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating other Pokemon and gaining XP? Yes. Okay, so they made it so you could just mash A. It made it easy. So you'll get all everything done. That's pretty simple. We love it. We love it. Let's talk to this guy and go here. So is the first gym even in this town? It might not be. It might be another route up there. We might have to use Mama's Guidebook. We might have to use Mama's Guidebook. So, but we did get the Poke Catch here. I got an R and it pops up here. Pretty cool, and I can like click buttons and stuff. Look at that. Ooh, calculator. Ooh, what is this? They're my steps, aren't they? I think that's my steps. There's my team. I'm gonna put our steps in here. I do like steps. Wait, that's our steps, right? How do I get out of here? Uh, I think I just hit R again. Yeah, dude, that's my steps. That's pretty sick. That is pretty sick, but I actually do want to open up the guidebook. Definitely want to check it out real quick. Let's see what that's all about. Let's see what the guidebook's all about. The guidebook over here, use this item. Let's see what it says. So, oh, okay, just like I guess it just like. It's everything that we want to do. Oh, that's fine. Let's go to our town map. Our town map. Beautiful. So here's our goal town is to go through Oberg City. And that is where the first gym is at. So I guess we'll be tackling that on in the next episode. We are going to be finishing off today's video right here. 
So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As the next episode, we're going to be making our way to the first gym and actually completing that and hopefully catching some more Pokemon towards our team. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.